Hi guys, it's Tasha. I'm on some tablets at the moment, so if I don't seem very with it today, then don't worry, it's just the side effects of it. And today, I will be bringing you my October book haul. I've only got about eight books to show you this month, so I've been quite good, Not, and I've two of them were bought for me. Uh, for some of them I've been really excited for for ages, and... Yeah, let's begin, shall we? Now, first up, we have The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page. This is the second book in the Dorothy Must Die trilogy. And, the f yeah, it's a kind of a continuation on from Wizard of Oz. But Dorothy went back to Oz and she's now basically evil and a horrible person. I really, really enjoyed the first book, so hopefully I will like the second. And second, we have The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I don't know too much from this book, except that the girl was supposed to marry a prince, and she didn't want to, so she runs away. It kind of had me at that, to be honest. I've heard there's a huge twist, so I haven't tried reading too much into what it's actually about. And I look forward to reading it, hopefully soon. And then next we have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, or Victoria Schwab. Pick your favourite way to call her. She does books under both names, I think. This is a book with like alternative universes and magic and again I don't overly know too much because it seems I don't really like knowing about my books before I get them. But I really look forward to reading it. I've heard it's really really amazing and everyone all over booktube seems to love it so it's time for me to get involved. And following on with the booktube trend the Final Empire by Branda Sanderson. Again, I have no idea what this book is about, but I've really enjoyed the last two Brandon Sanderson books I've ever read, and obviously everybody is raving about this book at the moment. So I bought it. And then we have Rin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. This is the third book in the Grisha trilogy. I have actually already read it, so I will be talking about it a bit more in my wrap-up next week, so look out for that. And then we have this book I accidentally bought this month. I really wanted it anyway. For some reason it was sat on my Amazon cart, and then I went to buy stuff for the wedding, and it popped up when I received the stuff <laughs> and that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This is another book set in the Grisha world but this is more kind of a heist story and again don't know too much about it. I'm about a hundred pages in at the moment and so far I'm really enjoying it. Like I'm just when I get around to reading it which isn't very often because I'm quite tired at the moment I'm just flying through it. And I'm hoping to finish it by the end of the month because I've got a readathon starting on the 2nd of November. So I'm hoping to finish it before that. And finally, we have the two books that my lovely fiancé bought for me. I won't flatter him too much because he's probably not even going to watch this. But the first book is Snow Like Ashes from set by is it Sarah? Yeah, Sarah Rash. I'm not going to repeat myself and say I don't know what this book's about, but it's kind of set in a kingdom of winter and their magic has been taken away or something. I've had my eye on this for a while, but it's only just come out, at least in paperback. I don't, I've don't. i never seen it in this country at all before it came out in paperback, so I don't know if it's just finally had a pure release in this country, but I saw it. I asked him nicely and he got it for me. And finally, another one I had to ask him very nicely for, is Illuminae by Anne, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Now, you must have seen this one circling around the booktube. I've 
I don't even, can't even begin to explain what this is about, but inside it's not your usual book. It's kind of like a little made of like emails and letters and I suppose they're probably bits of stories and it sounds really cool. I love books that are like set in like diary form and things like that. And so hopefully I will enjoy this one. And I think that's all for me. Not too long one at all. Now, next month I'm not going to be doing a book haul because I'm getting married next month. Scary, I know. So I'm also going to be doing something a little bit different towards the end of the month. So keep an eye out for that one. Bye!